Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay. Back at y'all again with another video, man. Peace, love, and abundance to everybody watching right now. Before we start the video, make sure y'all smash that like button. Follow me on all my socials. And also, guys, if you want to join the Retain Gang community, I'll leave my link in my description and in my pinned comments. This is a safe space for you to express yourself, but also learn something new, right? It's a community that we all help each other to evolve and become the best version of ourselves. We do weekly Zoom calls. I'm doing one this Sunday. So if you want to be a part of that, man, go ahead and solidify your membership now. All right. So with that being said, this was a question I got from a guy and he wants to know um, the importance of meditation and what does it do for you on your journey? What does it do for you uh, spiritually? What does it do for you in general? OK, and you want to meditate every single day. I believe that's a habit that you want to get good into practicing all right and for the record before we even start man i just want to say if anybody tell you that meditation is evil or you shouldn't do it saying it's evil for you to sit down be present close your eyes and do some breathing exercises to say that's evil is nasty work that's crazy right each and every one of us spend time by ourselves all the time and i know myself man i have conversations with myself I be cracking jokes with myself, making myself laugh, ask myself questions, but that's a form of meditation too, right? That's like therapy, talking to yourself. We all do it, right? Let's be real. So that's another form of meditation that we all do. So don't let nobody tell you that bonding with yourself, tapping in with yourself is evil, right? Meditation is a tool. It's something that you use. Cause if we're gonna take that angle, you can use anything for good or evil. It's all about your intentions. I can use my truck for evil. I can use my truck to hurt somebody, but I also can use my truck to travel. Hell, I can use a fork. A fork can hurt somebody, but I also use my fork to eat. So it's all about your intentions. What a lot of people try to do is they try to give you one perspective of how a tool can be used. All right? If we are children of the most high, right? If we come from a higher power, we need to stop acting like the most high cannot reach people or he doesn't have power in all things right we keep trying to put god into a box and say he only operates this way no god is all you got to have the right intentions in your heart to be able to experience you know the the goodness the grace of the most high all right so you know i had to turn up a little bit because i wanted y'all to get the message but the reason why you want to meditate every single day and I would say, start off two weeks, 15 minutes a day for two weeks. It has great benefits for your mind. It's gonna give you mindfulness. It's gonna help you to have better concentration, to have better learning skills. It's going to calm your nerves down, okay? It's also going to help you kind of soothe your nervous system. You see? We go through so much every single day. Our nervous system takes a lot. It's taking a lot of information in. So you gotta take time out to allow yourself to heal and calm down. This is what meditation is gonna do for you. Okay, when you sit down and you breathe in, when you're breathing in the prana, that's giving you energy, right? When you see Goku and, and when he meditates, right? Or even when he's doing the spirit bomb, he's collecting energy from nature, from all around him. And he's sitting still and he, he's being present. He's being mindful and he's collecting all the energy. All right, you can do the same thing. So to start off, all you're doing when you meditate is you want to be an observer. So you don't want to go in being judgmental. You don't want to try to interact with anything that's going on with you. You want to sit back and observe, okay? So when you close your eyes, you're going back into the darkness. You know, everybody always say, you know, give your problems to God. God will show you the way. When you close your eyes, what do you think you're doing? God lives inside of you. So what do you think you're doing when you meditate? You're going back inside the darkness. You're closing off the light, the, the, the distraction, the illusion. You're closing that off and you're going back inside to God and speaking to God. The Most High said, let there be light, right? So that means that before light, there was darkness. That means the Most High is in the darkness. So when you close your eyes, you're going back into that. You're giving your problems to the Most High. So you're asking for guidance and answers 
information for protection so when you go into it you want to just be an observer and you want to feel what's going on with inside of your body pay attention to your heartbeat pay attention to your breathing feel the air going in and out of your lungs all right any type of pain any type of sensation that you have in your body just feel it and then you want to try to feel the emotions that you have what type of emotions are running through you right now do you feel tense do you feel anxious do you feel angry all right and you just want to sit in that energy let it let it resonate with you first even the thoughts that's racing through your head let all that just do what it do and you sit back and observe it okay once you do that you want to ask yourself why do i feel this way if i'm angry if i'm sad if i'm anxious why do i feel this way see when you ask when you ask the questions this is when the answers come to you the answers will be revealed to you all the answers are in you you already know everything you already know what you need to do it's just that we get distracted from ourselves we get distracted from god okay this is why you got to meditate every single day so you don't lose that connection because you can get lost in the sauce out here in this fake light See, this is all the fake light out here. Your eyes take in light and your mind, your brain processes that light and it gives you image, it gives you resolution. You see, when you close your eyes and you go into your meditation, you shut all that off. So now you don't have no distractions. You're going back into the real world, which is yourself. You know, everything that you need is already inside of you. Your purpose is already inside of you. Your identity, who you are, okay? When you look at nature, you see the bees. You don't have to teach the bees how to be a bee. They don't go to bee school, right? They pollinate the flowers and they do what they do naturally. The birds, right? Every single animal that you see living is already on its purpose because it's encoded, it's in its essence. Your purpose is in your essence as well because you have the essence of God within you. So when you get into the habit of meditating daily and being mindful, what it's going to do for you spiritually, it's going to it's going to keep you connected to the most high, to your higher self. Those answers are going to come to you more clearly, more fluent, more frequently. You see what I'm saying? So um, when you get into the habit of meditating every day, what you're doing for yourself spiritually is you're keeping yourself connected to the higher power. So that way you're making the the best decisions for you to move in your purpose and to stay protected. All right. When you stop meditating, what happens is you start moving in the flesh. Your flesh takes over. Your ego takes over. So now you're not tapped in with that higher connection. So you're going to make decisions based off of your lower self. For me, for example, when I fall off my meditation, I find myself start eating junk food. Um, I start just getting lost in the sauce as far as like um, entertainment, distractions. You feel what I'm saying? When I get back on my meditation, I stay consistent with it though. I'm productive, I'm focused. My energy feels light. It feels like I'm moving. Every single second of my day is just purposeful and peaceful and bliss, right? I'm locked in, whatever I gotta do, I'm locked in. This also teaches you discipline because being still for 15 minutes is hard for a lot of people. You know, some people are, are you know, they're anxious, man. They got to move around. Sitting still, it just bothers them. And you got to ask yourself, why am I bothered by sitting still? Why do I feel like I got to move around? Why do I always have to be doing something? Right? See, these are questions you got to ask, man. These are, these are very important things that affect you every single day. And you never realized it because you never took the time to sit down and notice that. Be aware of it. This is why self-awareness is key in your life and your journey. You see, for you guys that's on semen retention, not only does meditation help you circulate your energy, but it also helps you with your urges. It helps you with finding purpose and direction for that energy. Okay, you get it flowing and you find purpose for it. You see, every time you meditate, you're connecting neurological pathways in your brain. That's going to unlock memories. It's gonna connect that left and right hemisphere of your brain, the creative side, and the logical side. So now you're at balance. Oh, so 
Get into the habit of meditating, especially now in 2024. It's too much stuff going on right now for you to be lost out here. It's too many things going on right now for you not to know yourself. If you haven't meditated before, this is the time where you need to double up on that. Okay, not only what's going on right now, but things to come. Because I'm telling you what, you're going to need the connection of the most high right now. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need that, that guidance, that protection. You're going to need that higher power to show you the way right now. When to make moves, when to be still, what to watch out for. All right? Hey, tap into your higher self. Tap in. It's, it's no more games. All right? But also, don't be so hard on yourself. Go into your meditation with love. Non-judgmental. Okay? Have good intentions. Be kind to yourself. Show grace to yourself. All right? And you'll see yourself getting better and better and better. So my homework for you guys is for 30 days. It's a 30-day challenge. Go ahead and set some time out for you to meditate for 15 minutes a day. Okay? And y'all let me know what the results are, right? And if you guys who have already been doing this, let me know in the comments section if you agree with the results, what type of results you've seen in your experience. You know, I think that would be some useful information for the people that don't know. So leave it below in the comments section, man. I would love to hear your stories. But with that being said, guys, like I said, I have a retain gang community. Go ahead and claim your spot, man. It's filling up fast. All right. So with that being said, y'all have a beautiful day and I'm out. Peace.